4 subtracted from 8 times a number is 52. What is the number? Again, we're going to follow the steps for solving word problems. We're going to start by reading the problem and making sure you understand the situation. You'll probably want to read each problem twice or maybe even three times. 4 subtracted from 8 times a number is 52. What is the number? So what's happening here is we're looking for a number and we're given certain information about it to try and help us figure out what the number is. Step two, after we've finished reading the problem, is to write our let statements for the unknown quantities. In this case, what they're asking us for, what we don't know, is the number. So we're going to let the number be x. Whenever we do word problems, the very first thing that we write down is always going to be our let statement. So even if the actual problem is difficult to set up and solve, you should always be able to do this first step. You look for what they're asking us to find in the problem. In this case, they're asking, what is the number? And you let that be x. Let the number be x. Now that we've done step two, writing our let statements, we need to move on to step three and write an equation that models the situation. Let's look at that first sentence. Four subtracted from eight times a number is 52. Well, we know that our number is x, so we've got x, but we're looking at eight times the number in the problem. If the number's x, but we want eight times that, we need to multiply it by eight, and so that becomes 8x. Lastly, we're told that four is being subtracted from that. Four subtracted from eight times a number. To subtract 4 from this, it becomes 8x minus 4. Now, this is a part where some students really struggle. Sometimes students look at the problem and they say 4 subtracted from 8 times a number. And they write one thing at a time. 4 is the number 4. Subtracted, that means minus. And 8 times a number is 8x. But this is not the same. This is different from 8x minus 4. Whenever we're dealing with subtraction, we know that the order matters. So we have to figure out if they're asking us for 4 minus 8x or 8x minus 4. And because they say 4 subtracted from 8 times a number, that means we're starting with 8x, and then from that quantity, we are subtracting 4. So that means it's going to be 8x minus 4. You've got to be very careful when you're dealing with subtraction, because you can't just translate everything into an expression one word at a time. You really have to understand what's going on. Anyways, 4 subtracted from 8 times a number, that's 8x minus 4, is 52. That means we need to set this equal to 52. And now that we have an equation with x in it, we can solve to figure out the value of x. We're going to start by adding 4 to both sides of that. The left-hand side just becomes 8x because negative 4 and positive 4 cancel. The right-hand side gives us 56, because 52 plus 4 is 56. Now, to get x alone, we have to divide by 8. So, of course, we have to divide both sides by 8. And when we do that, we're left with just x on the left-hand side. And 56 divided by 8 is 7. So we've got x equals 7. Now, if we go back to our let statement, we have let the number be x, but we know now that this is equal to 7. And when they ask us in the problem, what is the number? We're now ready to respond. The number 
is 7. And that's our final answer. That is the conclusion.